So the council, one day they went, and the whole commons assembled. They made a resolution thus, that a wall of stone and mortar they would build around the town. The walls of Ross could tell a million stories. Come with us now as we explore the latest chapter of this ancient town. We start on the quay where Case McLean has painted a monumental and faceless image of Isabel de Clare, the Church of St. Mary's in her hands. As we trace the steps of medieval mariners and traders, we come to Holly Pereira's homage to the tapestries of Ross, a vibrant telling of the Norman invasion from the sea, their subsequent settlement and the building of a powerful agricultural and trading center. Heading north, we're faced with the fantastic vision of Dan Leo, whose artwork Fallow Fawn towers on spindly legs. The image of a fallow deer introduced by the Normans is a subtle commentary on the nature of invasion and its effects. From Dan's fallow fawn, we only have to look back to see aches, digitally influenced, rearing to go. The repeated image of the horse, rampant like a lost heraldic crest, is symbolic of the movement and the progression of Neros and its people. These are powerful images, a joyful celebration of our identity, our community, our culture, and all that goes with it. <laughs>